it's me again. Um, so I had my surgery yesterday and I just wanted to give a brief update. Um, it went actually very well and uh, it was, they kept me very comfortable. Um, I had to check in at 11 and my actual surgery was scheduled for 1230. Um, so I went in and they started me on uh, the pain medication by needle and um, the fluids that they put in through um, a needle in my hand. Um, I don't know what it was though, but um, it helped me relax and um, after about an hour or so, hour and a half, they took me into the operating room and um, gave me some kind of uh, anti-anxiety medication and don't remember much after that. I was out pretty quick and um, the next thing I knew it was over, but um, pretty much as soon as they woke me up, I could feel pain. So they gave me some pain medication for that and about an hour later they let me go home but um it was it was a painful drive home um pretty uncomfortable but uh I filled some medication that they gave me to come home with so there's two of these here um one of them is Keterolac Trom Troma Famine, and that one I believe is an anti-inflammatory. I take one tablet by by mouth three times a day. I think that's the anti-inflammatory that um, they gave me, and then they gave me some uh, Tramacet. Sorry, I'm back. My camera cut out there for a second, so I think I was talking about um, Tramadol. So I can take these every four hours and this is for um pain and stuff so these have been um helping me out a lot since i got home yesterday so um anyway like i said they they were really nice in the hospital treated me really well and kept me nice and comfortable and made sure i was taken care of um coming home uh just as expected i do feel um, quite uncomfortable just some just some pressure and pain when I move and stuff like that like right now I'm moving just to get comfortable but um, um <clears throat> they said that's to be expected for uh, probably a couple of weeks right now so um so it's just kind of taking it easy today's a t today's just a rest day uh, not doing very much and um, um Whatever it is they give you for pain, they tell you not to drive for 24 hours afterwards. So, um, I should be, I should be, uh, okay soon, but, um, I'm probably just going to leave it for today anyways. I'm just resting today. And, uh, so yeah, not to drive for 24 hours and just to rest up today and, continue taking the meds and um and that's about it and just to kind of take it easy no heavy lifting and stuff like that and then they tell you kind of what to look for downstairs after um after you've had this procedure oh by the way the the procedure I had was um the leap procedure and um the uh uterine the dnc for the uterine scrape so um, after this, uh, they do, they schedule you for a follow-up appointment, so I'll get the results of those on April 25th. Um, so after that appointment, I'll do another update video, and, um, hopefully everything just comes back negative and nothing to worry about, and life goes on from there, right? So, okay, thanks for tuning in, and, um... If you've had an experience like this, if you've had a DNC or the leap surgery, leave a comment below. Um, if you can like and subscribe, that would be awesome. Like I said in my last video, I want to turn this channel around for um, people who have been through, you know, any kind of these, any kind of um, 
you know, stuff with biopsies and um, waiting for results and the frustration that goes with that, or um, people who uh, oh, yeah, people who uh, live with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome because that, I have that as well. So that's something I deal with uh, daily. So. Um, so I'll be posting videos about that a little bit more, and um, so I'd like to create a small community here on YouTube around, um, you know, people, warriors, I like to call, in my other groups on Facebook and stuff, I like to call, I like to call the people who, who, um, to, who wake up and go with this kind of stuff, the, the warriors of the world, so, um, so if you'd like to be a part of that community, like below, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and um, hopefully we can all start chatting and um, create a little community to help each other on our journeys and um, and to, to get up and go and, and help motivate each other and, and things like that. So anyways, again, thank you for tuning in. Hope you all have a great day and namaste.